Today, we will talk about Asset Liability Committees, ALCOs. An Asset Liability Committee is a supervisory group that coordinates the management of assets and liabilities with a goal of earning adequate returns. By managing a company's assets and liabilities, executives are able to influence net earnings, which may translate into increased stock prices. An ALCO at the board or management level provides important management information systems and oversight for effectively evaluating on and off balance sheet risk for an institution. Members incorporate interest rate risk and liquidity consideration into a bank's operating model. ALCO meetings should be conducted at least quarterly. Member responsibilities typically include managing market risk tolerances, establishing appropriate MIS, and reviewing and approving the bank's liquidity and funds management policy at least annually. An ALCO's strategies, policies, and procedures should relate to the board's goals, objectives, and risk tolerances for operating standards. Strategies should articulate liquidity risk tolerances and address the extent to which central elements of funds management are centralized or delegated in the institution. Alpha Bank's ALCO is appointed by a resolution of the bank's executive board and includes seven or more members with the right to vote for a one-year period. The ALCO is headed by the ALCO chair appointed by the bank's executive board. ALCO members without the right to vote are appointed upon presentation to the ALCO chair by order of the bank executive board from among bank specialists and managers for a one-year period. The bank's ALCO meetings are typically held every two weeks. Additional meetings may be scheduled as needed. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Asset Liability Committees, ALCOs, are responsible for overseeing the management of a company or bank's assets and liabilities. 2. An ALCO at the board or management level provides important management information systems, MIS, and oversight for effectively evaluating on and off balance sheet risk for an institution. 3. An ALCO's strategies, policies, and procedures should relate to the board's goals, objectives, and risk tolerances for operating standards. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.